Pi is this incredibly important number in mathematics and science. It's just the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. It just so happens that the first three digits of pi are 3.14. The third month and the 14th day becomes Pi Day, and this lunar eclipse is going to happen on Pi Day. That happens once every 350 years or so, so it's quite unusual. When I do eclipse calculations to figure out where the shadow is going to fall, that involves trigonometry, and all of trigonometry is built on pi. It's a fun way to celebrate not just the moon, but math and pi of both kinds. So think of fruit pies and pizza pies and, and all kinds of things that you can add to your observation of the moon and your celebration of science. Well, I'm old enough to remember the Apollo era. We're now going back with not only NASA itself, but its commercial partners to sample the surface and explore. And the moon is a great destination for this because it remembers everything that has happened over the 4.6 billion years that the solar system has been in existence. This is how we can find out where we came from, where the Earth came from, where the moon came from, how the solar system formed.